All right. Oh, well, good morning, everybody. My name's Chris Curry, president of Evapocool Solutions. We're an HVAC, or an air conditioning energy efficiency company based out of Memphis, Tennessee. So what our company does is we cool the incoming air across large commercial and industrial HVAC units. And a result of that cooling air, uh, we're, we're tricking the HVAC unit into thinking it's colder outside than it actually is. When we do that, the compressor inside that HVAC unit isn't working as hard. And as a result, the end use customer gets to enjoy the resulting energy and peak demand savings to our technology. So this is something that's been around for literally thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians used to <clears throat> hang like a, uh, a wet rug in the entrance to their huts. And as the wind would blow across it, there would be a resulting air temperature drop uh, where they lived. So, um, we've got some uh, very old technology that we've upgraded for the 21st century. And a big part of that is our real-time performance monitoring and control. So uh, our industry, the evaporative pre-cooling industry, uh, has been around for a long time. And I would say about 20 years ago, there were a number of technologies out there that over-promised and underperformed. And to this day, uh, building owners and maintenance folks, maintenance techs at various buildings, they remember that sort of thing. So as, as we came into this industry, we knew we had an uphill battle to fight. And as a part of that, we knew we had to actually demonstrate that the savings were occurring. So we've got some proprietary technology that allows us to real-time monitor the savings that the, that the, cut, the end user is, uh, is enjoying. Uh, and there's a number of other benefits that we'll get into as a result of our uh, application of that technology uh, that helps us drive business value, uh, whether when it comes to predictive maintenance, demonstrating savings, that sort of thing. So um, because there was that failure to perform and we needed to demonstrate the performance, uh, that's, that's why we're trying to resignate our, um, reinvigorate this, this industry, the evaporative precooling industry here in the United States. So and I, would, I would also add that um, our company um, uh, was recently awarded the largest energy efficiency contract in U.S. history by Southern California Edison, the large uh, Los Angeles-based electric utility. And we were selected as the premier HVAC energy efficiency technology, and we're obligated to remove 72.5 megawatts of electrical capacity off the Southern California grid. Um, 72 and a half megawatts, that's the equivalent of about removing 72,000 single family homes of energy off the grid as part of an energy efficiency measure. And a big part of why we can do that is because of our performance monitoring and our relationship that we've forged with SEEK uh, to help us actually uh, demonstrate to the utility that the savings are occurring. So let me see if this uh, clicker works. Could you go to the next slide for me, please? Okay, so our approach, uh, we are not a pure machine learning approach. It, we, we don't just look at the sensors. Uh, the benefit that our relationship with Seek has given us is we're, we're able to take all the, the sensor data that we get from our units deployed in the field and then have our subject matter experts interact with the, the Seek software to uh, look, at, look at trends, analyze data that ultimately derives value for the business. So uh, some of what you'll hear are very similar to the last presentation, but uh, I also want to touch upon you know, how, from a, a customer-facing perspective, uh, Seek is sort of helping us from a business and marketing and sales standpoint, as well as a, you know, the, the whole piece of uh, predictive maintenance. Uh, so the, the real takeaway on this slide here is it's, it's not about the data and the sensors. Machine learning is really valuable when the subject matter experts that we have at Evapercool uh, are injected into the process. Next slide, please. So I think everybody's seen this chart in one way or another in every presentation this week. Uh, you've got all this data, all these signals coming in from the field. Uh, you, you know, how do you, how do you deal with all this? And this is where SEEK comes in. Next slide, please. Okay, what we're looking at here is uh, a particular HVAC unit on a particular day in July of 2016. Uh, so as you know, Evapercool uses water as part of our um, 
uh, how we generate the energy efficiency for that end user. So if you look at that bottom purple line, that, that is showing us that the evapor-cool system is spraying. And when it's spraying, that's where the energy efficiency happens. So if you look at the top, there's two lines there. One is the, the, the top line is the ambient temperature. And the bottom line is the temperature behind the evapor cool pad and, and the, the temperature that's actually entering the HVAC unit. When there's a delta or when there's space between those two lines, there's a cooling effect happening. So we know that there's energy efficiency savings that are occurring. And if you take a look at that green line in the middle, that's the compressor power of the HVAC unit. And what you'll notice is that as the temperature increases, you would expect compressor power to increase as well uh, because that HVAC unit has to ramp up its power in order to generate the cooling effect that folks need inside the building. What you'll notice is that compressor power is flat. All right, so we, um, uh oh, <laughs> we, uh, so, you know, we've got through our performance monitoring software and then through the, the sort of the Seek dashboard that we've got, we know what's happening out there in the field. Um, what's really important is to know what would have happened, hey, thanks a lot, what would have happened um, had Evapricool not been installed. Now, before I jump off of this slide, uh, I want to point out one thing in the top left of the screen there. And there's this phenomenon called solar gain. So in the morning, because a lot of HVAC units are mounted on rooftops, uh, there's a phenomenon where as the sun rises in the morning, it's uh, artificially showing a higher temperature reading because the direct sunlight that's hitting the temperature than the actual ambient air is. So we have to make sure that as we're delivering savings to a customer, that we're not, automatic, we're not artificially inflating those savings as a result of that solar gain. So what Seek has helped us to do is we can create capsules where our subject matter experts and our engineers who know that this phenomena is happening on particular sites, uh, where we can basically toss out that bad data. And I uh, just wanted to make sure we pointed that out. Uh, next slide, please. Oh, wait, hold on, I got one of these now. Let's see if, it, there we go. So, now we know what happened. What's important from an energy saving standpoint is what would have happened had a vapor cool not been installed in the first place. So we use a, a series of expert rules to auto select the data. And if you look over on the left hand column there, this is, uh, this is Seek's dashboard. And uh, there's, an, there's an auto select key right there. Um, my engineer can select whatever data that he needs. And I, I, again, the takeaway here is, you know, my engineer is adding knowledge into the system that a, a pure machine learning approach otherwise could not know. Um, so uh, in effect, you know, the, the data scientist is, is sitting inside our, our seek machine, right? And my engineer doesn't need to be a data scientist to sift through all these trends and things like that that are coming in. Uh, they can just easily and visually manipulate the data. So how good is the model? Um, here we have the predicted compressor power against the actual compressor power. And you've got an R value here of uh, 0.98, which is very, very accurate. And again, when it comes to machine learning, uh, the, the injection of human expertise in our process here is what gets us to this model very quickly. And neither, you know, neither uh, the machine learning or my engineer on their own could arrive at this model, or they could, it would take them a really long time. So now that we've got a model that we're confident in, we can measure uh, the compressor power in the savings. So that green line that you see right there, that's the measured compressor power on that particular site that we showed you a couple slides ago. The orange line is what should have happened had a vapor cool not been installed on that site. And the total value of the savings is the area under that orange line and on top of the, the green line. So very quickly, Seek allows us to integrate uh, the area under that curve to determine the debt dollar value over a specified period of time. So for, uh, for this one right here, we've looked at the 
particular HVAC unit over the summer cooling season, and we can generate a very nice chart that uh, you know that, that models out the savings over time. And depending upon the customer, uh, you know this could be tens of thousands of dollars of savings for them in, a, in, a, in any one year. Um, so now I want to shift just a little bit into uh, the business and marketing and how president of a company, I, I think about this because I don't get down into the weeds very much on how all the sausage is made. Um, so what if we took uh, that particular HVAC unit that we've got, uh, you know, we, we know what happened and we've got a great accurate model of what should have happened had we not been there. What if we were to take that HVAC unit and plop, plop it into zip, different climates around the country, different zip codes. So what we did is we, we took that HVAC unit and took it out of where it was and we plopped it down uh, in the model in China Lake, California. And with about, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes of work, we're able to accurately predict the savings that that HVAC unit would achieve in a different area. So, from a sales and marketing standpoint, if I'm on the road trying to demonstrate value to an end user, I'm trying to get them to spend a lot of money on, on our system for, you know, it seeks an incredibly powerful tool for me to demonstrate savings for them. Uh, and at the end of the day, you know, really it's, it's, it's my engineers that trained the model, interjecting their human expertise, so that I could apply this model in a business development and sales standpoint to, you know, to hopefully drive additional sales. So, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm losing it again. Could you go to the next slide for me, please? Uh, so finally, I wanna take a look, quick look at how Seek aids us in, um, oh, back a few. That might've been, <laughs> there you go, nope. Perfect. So I wanna take a quick look at how Seek aids us in uh, system performance and, and customer satisfaction because as president of the company, that, that's what's important to me. Um, so one of the ways we can do this is uh, to set up monitoring boundaries. So uh, what we're looking at here is the green line, this is compressor power again. We know based upon our models, and then of course based upon the subject matter expert experience, that um, uh, the, the compressor over the course of a, day, if it's hot enough outside, should be running. And we know about what level it should be running at. So what we can do is we can apply upper and lower bounds inside of Seek uh, that says, you know, if compressor power falls outside of this boundary, then, you know, tell somebody. So that somebody is, you know, our, our engineers inside the company, and then they can act upon that intelligence and oftentimes, the, the, you know, the beauty of this is we know there's a problem with a customer's HVAC unit before the customer does. Uh, because oftentimes, you know, a, a customer, if their HVAC unit is out, <clears throat> it's going to be maybe an hour or so before people inside the building start complaining because it's too hot, right? We know right when the fault happens. So by, you know, having the ability to put these upper and lower bounds on uh, how a unit should be performing just adds a lot of value. Um, for us to make sure our system's performing, and so the customer uh, has some you know, real-time real knowledge of how their HVAC unit's running. Next slide. Uh, back one, or did it? Oh, I didn't, okay. Well, they, I had one other slide in there that, that didn't make it. Um, so what, you know, what, what's, what's really new here? At the end of the day, a, a technology-only approach is only looking at the sensors. And Seek helps us pair the technology uh, with the, the human approach to, to, you know, to really drive targeted value. So it's, it's not about the algorithm, it's about the people. And uh, what Seek is really, uh, you know, what I appreciate about our, our relationship with them is they're, you know, Seek's very focused on uh, my subject matter expert and my business. And, and while there's a ton of technology behind Seek, uh, neither my engineers nor I have to necessarily worry about it. And because of that, I think uh, you know the, the, this software. Uh, we're only on the cusp of uh, what all that it could do, but uh, you know it's going to drive tremendous value. And for me, as you know, the, the leader of the business, uh, my ability to use it. Um, just in a uh, product reliability and a sales and marketing perspective are, are really invaluable. 
So listen, I appreciate your time today and I'll be happy to field any questions on the, the panel discussion here in a few minutes. Thanks. Thank you.